Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 11 DLP of Ocarina of Time. In the last part where he did finish off, we cleared over Jabu Jabu of his curse. We started a little, uh, cle clearing. <laughs> My, yeah, I cannot speak today. Um, yeah, I have no ability to speak at all today. Okay, so there are two skull shows here at Long Long Ranch. Or Ron Ron, depending on... How you want to say it? No, I'm kidding. It's Long Long Ranch. Yes, I know the Japanese, the kanji. LNR is the same in Japan, but it's Long Long. I think though her name is supposed to originally have been Mar Marin, though. Oh, the, the bomb! No, 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 no! Hmm, what was that sound? Nothing, dear. Go back to sleep. God! Damn it! I swear I heard an explosion, Daddy and Uncle. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Okay. Sounded very odd and close by. Oh, it's nothing, dear. <laughs> oh, come, okay, well, that works. But, see, this is why you don't want to use a right analog stick for your C buttons, Nintendo. You dumbass me. Uh, no, that's not going to hit it. That's not going to hit it. Oh, okay, just get closer. There we go. Navi, Z target. Thank you. So yeah, there's one right there, thank freaking god, and the other one was at the racing track, but on the other side of that fence, and on the other side completely, yeah, so we're gonna be... Yeah, this is... I'm not cutting all just to get to that fence. No, you see, this part's 17 minutes long, and there's a reason for that. It's a very short part, we're finishing off the Young Link m part of the game, yes. After already 11 parts, we're going finally into the major point of the story. Oh, you tried to hit me, didn't you, you little shit? Now, the reason you want to use more the boomerang to um, kill enemies in the air, it doesn't use ammo. Yeah, so you have a free, unlimited ammo weapon. Yeah, I know that doesn't happen too often in Legend of Zelda, but whatever, I'll take what I can get. Ugh. Sorry, something else came up too. Uh, so, yeah. If I, you hear me rambling a bit on something else, uh, that's because something else is going on in the background, and I'm hoping that it works out well. So yeah, come on. Yeah, this is... Now, the reason I'm not cutting out to where our next destination, which is Hyrule Castle... Now, the interesting thing about this uh, cutscene right here is that if you were in the bright of day... It would get dark as if you just entered night. So you can literally go back and forth. Night, daytime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Shut the fuck up and stop doing that. Yeah, so this this happens automatically even in the middle of the day. This whole stormy moment right here. This is actually pretty dark. And you're like, oh yeah, the gates aren't open because it's night. No, this happens even in the day. So yeah, this is actually the first time I come here when it was like pretty dark time. Yeah, uh, the cutscene still, I think, is, uh, fully motion. Like, it's, the clock is still technically going right now. So I think it's technically just turning into day right now. As the cutscene happens. So the in-game clock, so to speak, the time of day and Ocarina of Time, is actually still going. Sorry, I had to fix my headset there a bit. Ugh. So yeah, this is actually the cutscene that we saw at the beginning of the game almost well not this whole section right here wow Zelda's got hell of an arm you know chucking that all the way to the ends of the earth this scene right here N now what's fun about this are you kidding me sorry uh, my headphone just be saying that it's running out of power this scene right here is actually what we had in our dream Ugh, I lost her I lost her. I can't do a good Ganondorf voice. You, over there, little kid. Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Look at <laughs> Little kid. Yeah, okay there, ugly man. You must have seen a white horse gallop by us just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! You can actually have no shield and sword here. So you think you can protect them from me? You've got gut, kids. I like that. I want to see if they, you bleed now. What? What? 
I actually like this. Gandor's like. You want a piece of me. Very funny. I like your attitude. Uh, hey kid, say hi. High fives. Ooh, yeah. This is the cutscene that happens in your dream, but this is a little different. Now you feel more courageous, more powerful. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're talking to? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. You mean Hyrule. There is no world. Well, according to the goddamn mythos, there's no world. Uh, damn it. Sorry. So, yeah, you just saw that it was dark uh, nighttime, and now we've switched pretty much to daytime. Yeah, so the in-game clock still went on. So, yes, if you come here when it's close to nighttime, the clock will continue, it will turn night, and you will not be able to progress until it's nighttime. Get... This is why you don't Z-target underwater items. Or you don't, you're not supposed to easily target them. So yeah, we just place, replaced the, uh, pendul the ma magical little flute we got from our good friend with a real magical flute. The Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So Saria's gift has now become nothing more than a, you know, memento. The memento we got was practically become nothing. Sorry. When you hold this ocarina in your hand, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. Okay. At least I could leave you the ocarina in this melody. Okay. I'm waiting. This song opens the door of time. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to use this song very, very little. The Song of Time. Uh, the song is used... Okay, I shouldn't say very little. The song is going to be used from time to time. No pun intended. But not as often as Zelda's Lullaby. Which is the odd thing, because... Now, Trent... Play this melody in front of the altar of the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Okay. Why don't we just take this ocarina? See, this is the this plan isn't stupid. Okay, but this would have been better. She keeps the ocarina. You keep the three secret treasures. This way, you would never, ever have Ganondorf get close to them. Or, you take the spiritual stones and shove them down Mount freaking Death Mountain. Sorry, I was going to say Mount Silver. No. Ma Thanks, BSC. You guys have really messed me up. Sh and shove them down <laughs> Death Mountain's vol active volcano. If Ganondorf wants them, he's literally going to have to erupt the volcano. Or at least only one of them. The other two? I don't know. You guys have magic? Shoot them to the moon. I'm serious, actually. Actually, I'm dead serious about that. Shh. Toss them into space. Toss them into another dimension. You guys have the ability to use magic. Do something with the spiritual stones besides put them as blot MacGuffins. And this is where my brain just went. Nope. Then I just learned this and I completely forgot. Song of Time. Okay. Here we go. Doom. So, I'm pretty close to the altar right here, but you could just be on the edge of the red right at the beginning, and this will this cutscene will still kick in. So yeah, the cutscene isn't that picky, it will do its job just right, and god damn it. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about being very picky or anything like that. Not the one. So yeah, automatically putting the Song of Time gets the three sacred, the three spiritual stones onto the altar and cut seat. So yeah, this is actually, a, you know, pretty cool. 
the bad thing is that we fucked up. Yeah. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna see how we fucked up in the, in the next part, though. Trent, isn't that... Is that the legendary plate? It's that legendary plate, sorry. The Master Sword! And Navi comes flying right back to us. I wish they would have had Navi just circling the Master Sword a bit there. Like a slow, just to say, Come get this, you dumbasses. <laughs> Come pick up this shiny new object. So yeah, the reason we say we fucked up is, well... Here you go. By letting, by doing this... We led Gandor straight to the goddamn Triforce. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. See? We fucked up. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Well, next part we'll see how badly we fucked up, but yeah. Right now in this, Trent, wake up, Trent, the chosen one, uh, yeah, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what happened, I don't remember last night, where, oh, god, this is in my house, uh, where, uh, -huh. What is this? Uh, huh? Who the hell are you, old man? I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. This is also supposed to be the owl. Ages ago, we ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages, inside the temple of light. The temple of light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. Sorry, I'm son. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you hold out the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Trent, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Navi was like, I don't remember. What the hell? What the hell? What? I'm fully grown. Awesome! Sweet! What's this itching I feel down here? Look, Trent, you're big now! You're grown up! The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Bullshit! Only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time can pull from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Seven years? And now you are old enough. Time has an awakened as the Hero of Time. Hold on, I was stuck here seven years? What happened? Well, you do understand your destiny. Yes, but what the fuck happened for seven years? What'd you do? Why did I grow? Wait, if my spirit was sealed here, we're meaning we're sealed in one area, meaning in a sense we were cryogenic, frozen, or put in a comatose state. How did our bodies grow? According to medical... Uh, you know what? No. No. Bring, don't bring science into Zelda or any Nintendo fa game. It, logic does not exist in this game. His evil and radiant temples of Hyrule destroyed. Blah, 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 blah. My power is now only little influence, even in this sacred realm. D namely, this chamber of sages. <laughs> but here is. There is still hope. The power of the sages remains. They do? When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain in all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages. End. Come on! And you're a dumbass for keeping me, your power to fight to get, together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Isn't that technically chosen by the goddesses? Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages to add uh, my to yours. Yeah, I didn't read fast enough. Nintendo, voice acting from now on, please. It'd be a great idea. You know, every game console has done it. Hell, you have voice acting in Star Fox. Yes, it's corny as all hell, but it's fair. It's still better than nothing. 
And Hyrule Warriors, if you're making a Hyrule Warrior 2 for DNX, please have fucking dialogue, voice acting. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Ugh. Great. Seven more temples to do. Six, technically. Now, according to um, some people, and I mean that the, the internet and fans, at some uh, interviews with developers, the Temple of Time, or the Temple of Light, was supposed to be a temple where you got the medallion on, and Trent, we're back in the Temple of Time, but has seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of your, some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Why? What's wrong with an adult using a boomerang, a slingshot, a s yet you can still use the Deku nuts and the Deku stick and the bombs? Explain to me how a slingshot and a boomerang will not be able to be working for an adult. Wow, our instincts are dead on. We know we just turn around. It's been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules, all oh, an awakening voice or in the sacred realm will call those death sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead. Yeah, that one, last one's creepy. One at the inside the goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return light to peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. You're a ninja. As I stand there is holding the mystical master sword, you really look like the legendary hero of time. Wait, we're not the first? If you believe in the... The legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and waken the five sages. Yeah, five more temples to go through. We went through three of them as a kid. Now we got to go through five as an adult. Eight fucking temples. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know that um, it was like that in the past games. And they kept that tradition up. But for God's sakes, why eight? Why not nine? This would make a perfect innocence for a Triforce. Try being a multiple of nine and oh. Screw it, I'm not getting to mathematicals with this. Hit the Kakariko village. Do you understand, Trent? Yes. It doesn't even give you the option to say yes. It just says, go to Kakariko village. Uh, aren't you supposed to give me a song? Oh, fine, fuck it. I'll see you guys next part. So don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and take care, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see if seven years are really passed and what has changed in Hyrule. So I'll see you guys next time.